Welcome back to Scott Family TV. Thank you so much for your support always and forever. And on the latest news, the social media giant failed to act in the face of coordinated attacks on the Duchess of Sussex, says Color of Change President Rashad Robinson. Now, racial justice, justice organization criticizes Twitter's lack of response to Meghan Markle harassment. Let's call it what it is. Meghan Markle has faced relentless harassment in Twitter, in YouTube, in every single social media site you can ever mention. She's taken so much abuse simply because a mixed race woman fell in love with a white prince. Now, the leader of the online racial justice organization Color of Change is criticizing Twitter for failing to sufficiently respond to a sweeping harassment campaign targeting Meghan Duchess of Sussex. Twitter analytics company Bot Sentinel released a report two weeks ago that found a small number of Twitter users organized and amplified attacks against Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. The campaign highlighted a wider issue, the ability of a few individuals on social media to spread hateful content to millions, especially if platforms fail to respond appropriately. Rashad Robinson, president of Color of Change, told Huffington Post that the campaign against the Duchess was not just some sort of freak occurrence. He said the report's findings are indicative of what we've been trying to tell these platforms that sponsor hate online. These challenges are not an accident, Robinson, who has worked with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex before, told Huffington Post in an interview shortly after the report was released. And time and time again, when companies are presented with facts like this, they have failed to act. They don't act on the hate because they profit from it. The Bold Sentinel report, spearheaded by CEO Christopher Bowsey, analyzed 114,000 tweets and found that 55 single purpose accounts identified as primary hate accounts and 28 secondary hate accounts, which helped further amplify the primary accounts, made up 70% of all original hate content, targeting both Meghan and Prince Harry. That content could potentially reach 17 million users, Bowsey said. In a statement shared with Huffington Post after the Both Sentinel report was published, Twitter denied there was any evidence of widespread coordination after being given evidence of it by Christopher Bowsey. The use of multiple accounts by single people or other platform manipulation tactics. That sort of response ex exemplifies a larger problem. According to Robinson, major companies downplay results and criticize the methods used to obtain certain data instead of figuring out how to address the problem. We just have a hard time believing them because it's like, don't piss on my head and tell me that it's raining. He said, we can over and over again see these challenges. We, see, we can see the, these platforms unable to fix it, but they become very quick to sort of problem, to make a problem or problematize research, problematize analysis, and problematize solutions. When in so many ways they are unwilling to offer so little of their own. Social media companies should be held accountable because they have been unwilling to be both transparent and clear about sort of all the ways in which their incentive structures are harming our communities, Robinson said. A Twitter spokesperson updated the company's statement on Monday telling Huffington Post, our teams have reviewed the accounts referenced in this report and have taken enforcement action, which are complete lies. I see so much hate still on Twitter towards Megan, Duchess of Sussex, and recommendations to watch hateful content from seeing people spreading incitement of hate towards Megan, Duchess of Sussex. And when you ask them what Megan Markle did, they begin by saying it's not about race. And then they proceed to say that it's about something else, which they never mention. They never fail to, they never specify what has Meghan Markle done. Each and every single person that I've asked never specifies what Meghan Markle has done because she's done absolutely nothing wrong to justify the incitement of hate that they're doing to her. They have continued to do to her for the past five years to date. Meghan Markle is currently embroiled 
in an appeal case against the Daily Mail, Associated, Associated Newspapers, the worst abuser of Meghan Markle for publishing extracts of a letter without Meghan's consent. Now, Twitter said that our teams are, have reviewed the accounts referencing the, this report and have taken enforcement action when appropriate against accounts and content that violates the Twitter rules. Of the 80 plus accounts referenced in the report, our teams took action on seven accounts. This included violations of our abusive behavior policy and our platform manipulation and spam policy. A leak of internal Facebook documents released last month showed that the company both rewards and promotes content that elicits anger because it keeps more people engaged while increasing their time on the site. Now, Bowsey told Huffington Post in an earlier interview that people responded to the announcement that he was looking into accounts focused on promoting hateful content about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex by comparing him to an ape. But apparently that is not about racism. It's always been about racism. This, the people who amplify the hate against Meghan, it's always based on racism. They hate that their white prince married a mixed race woman. They can't stand it that the fact that she protects her and their children, Archie and Lilibet Diana. They responded, these hateful trolls responded by posting Sibuzi private documents attacking his deceased mother and recirculating photos of his daughter and that was before the report was even out. Robinson also said he faced all kinds of harassment. The Board Sentinel investigation also brought to light instances of digital blackface. Robinson said that can have a chilling effect in disinformation campaigns or coordinated attacks as it works to silence or shut down real conversation and confuse legitimate concerns, ideas or creativity that are coming from the community. I've seen people posing as black folks telling me like how dare you work with them or whatever, Robinson said, and you could quickly start to tell sometimes folks are not even good at hiding who they really are. Now, this is absolutely beautiful, fantastic and amazing. The last part, which he said, and you could quickly start to tell, sometimes folks are not even good at hiding who they really are. First, they use a profile, pretending that people, showing that they are people of color. Then, proceed to abuse Christopher. So that they can abuse Megan, that is of Sussex. And, these people have been doing this for a long time. But apparently, when you ask them, they say it's not about racism. And here they are. Same, same people. Same, same trolls. Same, same derangers abusing a person of color. Using a profile trying to show the case that they are people of color. They are not. These are racists that cannot stand that Prince Harry fell in love with Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, a mixed race woman and have resorted to bullying Meghan Markle for the past five years. And this must stop. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and for everything that you've done. And Robinson said, I have a deep appreciation for them as folks that could have had every reason to try not to want to put themselves in harm's way or greater threat by leveraging their visibility and platform to fight for change. Robinson said, but they have done just that. And time and time again, they've spoken up. They've stepped up. But just as importantly, they have supported and elevated other leaders out there doing the work. That's a comment Robinson made about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Despite the smear campaign, they have always done everything to try and help others. Robinson said he's grateful for the couple's willingness to serve in this way, given that a report like this shows all of the ways in which the attacks are not just some sort of accident. They are intended to do exactly what attacks like this do, which is to make people go silent and go away and not fight for the things that they believe in, he said. They have still stayed around and fought for the things they believe in. And I just have so much appreciation for both of them. After the release of the Board Sentinel report and a Newsweek report, finding that YouTube is profiting from Meghan Markle troll accounts, Robinson said, it's time to keep digging. Now we see this on YouTube, we see this on Twitter, and I think the question is for both of these platforms, what are they doing about it? He said, noting that combating harassment is much more challenging for people who don't have as much visibility as Megan. I just think it's not good enough for this platform to try to poke holes at our report, he added, when all of us recognize 
there is deep problems and problems that they've allowed to fester and grow, which is hate for profit. Thank you so much, each and every single one of you, for joining us on this channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for helping us grow. We must continue fighting this as a squad. We must never give up the fight. The fight between good and evil will continue to the end of time. And as a squad, we are good. And we'll fight against these racist people that are attacking Megan, Duchess of Sussex, Christopher Bowsey, who's exposing them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for each and every single one of you. Your support goes a long way in fighting against injustices and racism. With so much love, Sasquatch Family TV. Thank you. Stay tuned for our next video.